this huge, beautiful freesia that you see here. It's huge. I planted this as a cutting slip over 20 years ago. It's one of the first things that I did when I came home. And I'm only sorry I didn't plant more along this bank here. You can see there's wild marjoram is flowering here. This is a knapweed. This is a self-sown cherry tree, but I'm gonna have to take that out because I don't want it to erode the bank. Here you can see more knapweed is flowering here. And here's some yarrow. So it's a very, very steep bank, as you can see. So the lawn is mowed over there and mowed up here and full in the spring of snowdrops and crocuses. But here you can see there's sheep parsley, there's buttercups, there's yarrow, more knapweed there, dandelions here. There's one kind of dandelion there. You see the distinction in its leaf. Here is a second kind of dandelion here. You can see the difference in its leaf. So behind it is this beautiful big ash tree. Within this ash tree, there are two wild bees hives. A woodpecker has raised chicks in here. Lots of birds have raised chicks. So this ash tree so far is doing really, really well, but it's surrounded by biodiversity. Here is a hawthorn and underneath here is where I have my hedgehog hotel. So this is the ash tree trunk, which would take probably two people or three people, more likely three people to stand holding hands around it. It's massive tree trunk. So there's the hedgehog hotel. When branches come down, I just continually load it up. So there's a huge amount of insects in there and the hedgehogs have their pathways in and out. You can kind of see there is a pathway right there. You can see it hollows out underneath. So the hedgehogs go in and out under there. There's other ones of those kind of hedgehog pathways. There's some over there. Anyway, in this woods, is a mixture of cherry, ash, beech. You can see there the different leaf formations. This is a lovely little cherry under here. This is, look at the Solomon seal under here. This is the sheep have helped make this a very biodiverse understory, which is what's needed for sustainability on any gardening level. And you can see the seed heads here. These are all the um, cow parsley and all their seeds have either fallen or have been eaten by uh, lots of birds. So there's lots of food in here. So fingers crossed these ash trees don't get ash die back. Look at that towering above me. Beautiful, beautiful big tree. And I love that Solomon seal is at the base. That's that plant there. Those are Solomon seals.